coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, USA, Lee! And now, producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Hollywood, California, Big. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes so far? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Oh. oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Right at the elbow. Oh! Head kick! That one landed clean! Oh, big punch lands.
defensively blocks the shot. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. there by Lee. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Unable to connect there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Huge block there. Try to establish that jab. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Strike coming in one. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Final seconds here in round one. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Round two is next. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Second round underway. Lee gets hit with a kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one?
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Big kick. He's very disturbing when he throws that body kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, what a punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Knee to the body. <laughs> Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Oh, lands with that elbow again. Misses with the left hook. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Oh, man, hit to land. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Huge damage from that elbow in the clinch. Finish could come here at any time. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, yes, it is a lost start in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the jab, too. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. All right, single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Big head kick. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Nice. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. The ground and pound has been there all night. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Twenty seconds, and just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. What a fight! I should say so. A tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Yeah. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.